will. And nine sunshine. What are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to tell the story about the prodigal son. It's found in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32. You can read it later if you'd like. Wait, hey, wait, can I tell it? Do you know the story of the prodigal son? Well, I think so. What do you mean you think so? Either you do or you don't. Well, I can tell it. Uh, uh, can I please? Well, what do you think, guys? Should I let her? Uh, all right, I think, I think we should let you tell it. Go ahead. Okay, yay! I get to tell the story, the story, the story. All right, go ahead and tell your story then. Okay, I love Jesus told a story about a father who had two handsome, gorgeous, beautiful, single, good-looking, amazing sons! Sunshine. What? The Bible doesn't say anything about that. Sorry. I got a little carried away. Yeah, just, just a little, don't you think? So go ahead and continue, all right? Okay. All right, you ready? Where was I? Oh, yeah, they were... No, 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 no. There were two sons. Okay, so there they were a long time ago. There were two sons, and the younger son went to his daddy and said, Give me all your money now! You know, the stuff you've been saving through me and my brother when you get older? I want my money now! Now! <laughs> he wasn't very polite. Yeah, he wasn't very polite or respectful, was he? Nope, not at all. But, you know what? What? The daddy did it! And a few days later, that little youngin' went into a far away place and spent all his money! Spending all that money! Let it rain! Let it pour! I'm rich! Woohoo! Yeah! He went crazy doing everything until... Until what? Finally! He was broke, flat, poorer than poor, bankrupt. No, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. He had spent all his money. And then a big thing happened. A famine struck the land. Wait, what's a famine? Well, you know, a famine is when it quits raining for a long time. And the food quit growing because of that. And people quit having as much of anything, really. And they weren't able to have as much as they had normally. So that's what it is. Oh, okay. So that happened, and it was bad. So the son went and found a person who had, had to give him a job. He said, go feed the piggies. The piggies? Yeah, the piggies. You know, <laughs> the piggies. It was there that one little piggy built his house of straw, and the other of sticks, and the third of bricks. Sunshine. What? It wasn't like that at all. Oh uh, yeah, I guess it wasn't. No, not not quite really. So, Sunshine, it was there that the sun started getting hungry. Oh yeah, that's right. And so the sun started getting hungry. And as he was feeding the piggies, he looked at their food, and then at the pigs. And he almost started eating the pigs' food! Oh no! That was disgusting! Yeah. And then he remembered Get back to your daddy's house! Go, boy! Run! 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 Get yourself back there, dude! Come on, now! Your daddy servant's got more than that! That's right! He sure did! Yeah, he said, I'm no good! I left my daddy! I left all that was good! And I wasted my time! If I could just be a servant in my daddy's house, I'd get more than all this! And I'd live better than this! So, off he went. Run, 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 you sinner man! Run, boy! When he got close to his daddy's house, his daddy came running and gave him a big 
sunshine, that's not the end. I know, I'm just kidding. Actually, the father put the best robe on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. And, and so the daddy said, hey, everybody, make the biggest burger party you've ever seen. A burger party? Yeah, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and throw on some pizza, too. Oh, yeah. They threw a party, and their, their brother came in while they were getting ready, and he said, What's this? Dad, I've never left you. I've been here the whole time. Yeah? Yeah, and you know they're throwing a party for me, not even a cheese pizza. Come on, where's my party? Look, he's left everybody. He left you. Sunshine. Yeah, I know. He didn't do that. Well, he did get pretty upset. But you know... It wasn't quite like that. No, no. It was close. Well, I don't know how close it was, but maybe... You know what happened next? No. Nope. The dad looked at him and... Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, go ahead and tell us. He looked at him and he said, All that I have is yours because you stayed with me. But your brother? Well... He was lost, and now he's found. Yeah, he went away. He went the wrong way, but now he's back. And so we rejoice. That's right, sunshine. You see, Jesus said it in Luke chapter 15, verse 7. Yeah. Well, he said that there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repented. Wow, that's cool more than all the just people who do not need to repent. You see, whenever someone's lost or if we lose our way, you know what? Jesus is waiting just like the dead. That's right. For us to come back to Him when we repent of our sins. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, did I do good? You did great, Sunshine. Thanks. Next time, we'll do another one. All right, Sunshine. Well, for now, see you later. Jesus loves you and so do I. So you see, just like our story today, the son came back when he realized he was in the wrong place. He repented with his father. So on our life today, we call it sometimes the road of life. And our ultimate goal is to get to not just one way or another, but to ultimately get to heaven. But to do that, we need to understand that we need to go the right direction. See, what happens is, is whenever we're not going the right direction, we have to repent. Sometimes people go the wrong direction and then they think, oh, I'm no good. I can't do this. I'll never make it to heaven. Well, in fact, if you just repent, you might be going the wrong way, but you could, through repentance, go the right way. You see, it's as simple as just asking God to forgive you and meaning it from your heart. Not just saying words, but when we are sincere, like the son was in the story today. Repentance is that turning around when we go in the wrong direction, but we want to go the right way. And see, as we continue in our walk with life, the Apostle Paul talked about that he died daily, which meant that he repented every day. He's like, God, help me, Lord, of this sinful nature. God, help me to walk the right way. You see, if we confess our sins, in 1 John 1, 9, it says he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see, when we ask God each day to forgive us and to help us, it's daily bread. It's every day. God, help me to live right, to walk walk right, to do right. Help me, God, not to walk the wrong way. Help me, God, so I can make heaven my home because, God, you know I don't want to not miss heaven. I don't want, God, to, to go the wrong direction because ultimately if I'm going the wrong direction, I'm going to go to the place that was designed for the devil, that place called hell. So not a place we want to go. We want to go not down, but we want to go to the place that God has prepared for us. Heaven. And the way we do it is when we start walking the right direction. So if you've messed up and you've gone the wrong direction, ask God today to help you to no longer keep going the wrong direction, but ask God to help you. God, help me to go the right direction. Forgive me of my sins, God. Help me in Jesus' name. Amen. So I pray 
that one day we will all not only go the right direction here in our road of life, in our journey, but that one day we'll make heaven our home. Bye.